So imagine I have a sequence 81, 27, 9, 3, 1, 1 third, 1 ninth, 1 27th, etc. Um, this is really just a sequence of powers of 3. So 81 is the same as 3 to the 4th power. So it's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 27 is 3 times 3 times 3. 9 is 3 squared, 3 times 3. And 3 can be just written as 3 to the 1. And skipping the 1 for right now, um, 1 third is also be written can be written as 3 to the minus 1. 1 ninth can be written as 3 to the minus 2, etc. So if you notice in the sequence, as I go from one number to the next, it's, it's, it's I'm dividing by 3 or multiplying by 1 third. And so at some point in the sequence, I get to 9, then, then 3. If I divide by 3 again, I'll get to 1. And then divide by 3, I'll get to 1 third. Or if I'm going through and looking at the sequence uh, in terms of exponents, I'll have 3 squared, then I divide by 3, I get 3 to the 1. I divide by 3, I get 3 to the 0. But if we look over here, that's the same as 1. And I can do this same analysis for um, any other power. I could use 2's. So imagine I had 2 to the 4th and 2 cubed. So I'm just going to draw a line here. 2 cubed, 2 squared, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 0, 2 to the minus 1, etc. So 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 squared is 2 to the 4, 2 cubed is, I'm sorry, this is supposed to be 4, <laughs> uh, 2 cubed is 8, and 2 to the 4 is 16. We're going to skip what's in there, and then 2 to the minus 1 is a half, 2 to the minus 2, 2 to the minus 3, these are 1 quarter, and 1 eighth. So again, dividing by 2 each time, eventually I hit 1. So again, you notice that 2 to the 0 is 1, 3 to the 0 is 1, and um, I hope I've convinced you that, that for all numbers, anything to the power of 0 is 1. Uh, so I hope hopefully this is a good explanation for you, and uh, later on you'll learn a more advanced proof of this.